Hello! So, this is my artist update. So, it's the second week of January 2022. And this is my very first update. So, I'm just hopefully going to do this every week. And I'm just going to talk about what I've done during the week and what I'm going to be doing the next week. So, it's been quite an exciting week. I haven't been working as hard as I should, but I've started making a new course for watercolour students and it uses six brushes and uh, six colours and uh, this is the first lesson. So I've already done this with my students and uh, it was a lot of fun. It's basically a road at evening time and it's been raining and you've got these uh, lovely reflections. And the important thing about this course is we're using white paint. So I know some artists are very sensitive about that, but I don't care. I just, I just want to have fun and I want to make great paintings and so this course is all about using white paint because it's also just so useful. It really is very useful. So that's the first one. And then here's the second one. I really like this. So um, yeah, where is the white paint? So the white paint is here on the wall. So it's very subtle in this painting, the use of white paint. And what I did is I mixed the white paint with a mix of something like yellow ochre and alizarin crimson. Was it that? No, no. I mixed it with a purple that was made from phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, something like that. And it might have had a touch of yellow ochre. And then uh, I mixed the white with that, titanium white, and then I used it for this. But you... You have to be careful because if you use too much white paint, then it looks very, very strong and it looks stuck on. But I'm really happy with this. I think the grass in particular is very, very good. So this was the second lesson that I did with my students. So this is six colours, including white. And um, yeah, and this is going to be the next one, probably. So this is a very dramatic scene. So um, basically this is uh, the road outside my house at evening time. But I've, I've exaggerated things a lot. But um, here we've got the titanium white, yeah? And I went a bit crazy with colours in the buildings, if you can see that. But I, I quite like doing that. I think it looks quite beautiful. So um, I did one more. Here's another one that's a little bit different. So, but the same basic kind of um, design, whatever, composition. But uh, that's what we're going to be doing next time, I think. So yeah, that's going really well. And um, it's quite exciting thing. And in my own time, I've been doing, um, well, what I did is, um, when the weather was nice, even though it's January, it's quite warm in Japan. And I've been taking my drone up by my local river and getting shots of the river looking down. And the um, you can see that serpentine curve of the river as it goes away into the distance. And although this is a Japanese river, which means it's not as picturesque as um, I think an English river in many respects because they do a lot of construction to the sides of the river to make it to protect against uh, flooding and things like that but it's still quite beautiful and yeah yeah <laughs> it's still quite beautiful and I do my best anyway this is the first painting I'm quite happy with it. Um, so I think the sky is too blue. 
I want to make that whiter. Some, I've got to change that. I don't know how yet. I make it even softer, uh, pay, much, much, much paler. Okay. Um, but I'm very happy with this bit. This is the city and the rooftops. And I'm very happy with this, the riverbanks. And I love that brown color. That's the uh, winter grass colour and it's absolutely beautiful. And I especially like these trees here, if you can see that, and the shadows. I really like the shape of them. It's very, very interesting for me. And uh, the river itself is not bad, but maybe needs to be a bit darker here. And then in Japan, you get like... Um, mud banks or small islands because the the rivers are very shallow and um, you just get this um, I guess soil builds up and then you get these islands and they can look really interesting and that's one of the things I'm focusing on a lot is these little islands in the middle of the river but um, I think this is the right colour. I think it was green or they were green, but it doesn't match and it looks very strange. So I'm going to paint this picture again and make it a light brown colour. And then hopefully that will look better. So that's what I'm going to hopefully be showing you next week. So a bit of a more faded out distant background and then I'm going to make the river darker at the bottom and maybe brighter here where the light's hitting it. It's super bright. And then this little island is going to be a light brown colour. And then this is the second one. <laughs> so uh, not finished, not finished yet. But I like this island shape here. I think that looks much better. And... Um, in this painting, I've decided to go for something much darker and stronger. So on the drone, the camera angle, you can move up and down. And it's very interesting because I'm not sure how it works, but maybe if the, I don't know how it works, but anyway, by moving the camera angle up and down, the lighting changes dramatically. <coughs> So with this one, it was much lighter, but when I changed that camera angle, it became a lot darker, a lot, lot darker. And so next week I'll show you um, this painting, hopefully finished. So that's it. That's my artist update. I hope I didn't waffle, waffle, waffle. Is it waffle or waffle, waffle? <laughs> Oh no, I'm getting old. Anyway, I hope I didn't talk too much or get too wordy and there'll basically be another artist update next week. So that's all for this one. Bye for now. And in your own painting, I hope it's going really well and I hope you're yeah, having a lot of fun and you've got some interesting ideas that you're like uh, following through with and uh, having some fun results. Bye for now.